kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? So I'm here with an exclusive, exclusive Fenty Beauty. -na 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 All right, guys. So the Fenty Beauty uh, Galaxy Collection Holiday Collection dropped today, Friday the 13th, and um, funny enough, it wasn't available in Sephora. So I checked, I went to my local Sephora today this morning at 10 o'clock a.m. right when the doors open to get my hands on it and the lady said that they, I couldn't find it anywhere in the store, sorry, and the lady said that they did not um, carry it. It was an online exclusive thing and um, and that was it. And I was like, uh, okay, well no, it said directly on the website that it would be available in store as well. So after a few little huffs and puffs, a little bit of attitude she gave me, I got my hands on la la the Fenty Beauty Galaxy what, what? yes hunty um so I didn't get any lip glosses the eyeliners or the lip glosses just because it was like pulling teeth you guys just to get the palette itself so here it is in its beautiful glory the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna uh, Galaxy eyeshadow palette um, she asked me if I wanted to swatch it in store. I said no, but by the time the only reason why I said no is because she was giving me freaking attitude for selling it to me Even though I swear to you guys I could get it Today, so we're going to give it our first oh, our first impressions You're probably gonna get a re get ready a little, little, little. You're probably going to do a get ready with me as well because I am going out. Oh my god Okay, so I open the box and lift it up and it's just like whoa so I don't want to touch it. I don't like fingerprints getting all over it. It's so beautiful though. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide it out like this. <laughs> Alright, so first thing is the packaging is absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. It's slick. It's got such a uh, transparent. Oh my god, let's look at the rainbow guys. Oh my gosh. It is stunning. On the back it just shows what the names are. All of the the colors inside. Uh, I don't believe it comes with a brush because then the brush was sold separately and I get my hands on the brush, which sucks. But again, the lady was basically telling me it was not available. We're gonna go, oh, oh my, yeah. So, take the little transparent sheet out. That is what it looks like, you guys. How freaking stunning is that? Oh my gosh. Ignore like my whole set up, but like, oh my gosh, look at that. Do you guys even see how beautiful this palette is? Oh my gosh, it is stunning. So right away, I don't wanna swatch it. I don't wanna touch, you guys know how it is. I hate, hate touching new, brand new freaking colors, but let's just do it. So I hope that this video turns out okay because I'm not the best swatcher and I'm really awkward with it. So let's see here. And what I'll do is I'll swatch it and then I will go back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the first set of swatches look like. And I'm not sure if you guys will be able to tell on my camera or I'm just doing this completely wrong. But these are the swatches that we got going on here. Oh my god, I'm like the worst swatcher <laughs> ever. But from the, the very top, we've got um, extraterrestrial, terrestrial, extraterrestrial, uh, 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 Extraterrestrial, that's the first one there. Second one is ozone. Third one is light year. Uh, the fourth one is ultraviolet. Fifth one is cosmic ocean. The sixth one is Mars on fire. And then keep going down the list. We've got Planet X, Sublime, Meteor Crush, Midnight Bolt, which is a blue one, which you can't even see because I'm like, ugh. But anyway, and then this one here, you've got Milky Way. I don't even hear. I don't know if you can even see these swatches or not, you guys, but Milky Way, Jupiter Sand, Space Out, and Sunburst, which is the last one here. So these ones are a lot lighter than these ones. I think, I don't know why. I really hope it shows up better when I edit this video. Super, 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 super pigmented, which I already love already. I think it's actually better than the Too Faced, um, the Too Faced Glitter Palette already. Um, I feel like the Glitter Palette has a lot more follow up. Anyway, this one here, it's super pigmented you guys like it is absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh and I think that if you're not really a person that uses a lot of color a lot of on their face a lot of if you're not very really experimental and you only like to use a lot of color 
to get all my shirts. Um, this palette actually might be great for you, especially for like smoky eyes. Halloween's coming up, a lot of holiday stuff is coming up, and you can use a lot of these colors to really give yourself a huge pop. The colors look like, again, I'll give you a great overview if I can. My camera skills are not the best, but it's okay. I think I'm gonna do like a smoky eye. Okay, whoa. <laughs> All right, so I've primed my face. This is the Urban Decay Potion Primer, which I always like to use to set it. And then on top of it, I just use the NYX Jumble uh, Eye Pencil in Milk. Just to give the extra, it makes it everything like pop more, I feel like, when I use that on top of my primer already. So we're going to go ahead and use a smoky eye. Of course, our main attraction will be the Galaxy Eyeshadow Palette from Fenty Beauty. But I want to go ahead and set the smoky eye first. So I'm just going to be using my BH Cosmetics. We are going to go ahead and do a more fallish, kind of inspired look. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and use this one right here, which is more of like a, a pumpkin, like a deep pumpkin orange kind of color. I hope you guys, I hope this won't get like blown out because the lights are so bright, but I am honestly just going to lightly pack it in just for my transition color and just so I have something that's a little more subtle that will bring the whole look together. So I'm going to go ahead and blend. <music> using the next color beside it for the age cosmetic so we're gonna be using this one here wait lies we're gonna be using this one here we're going jumping right into this one it's like a deep cranberry color so I'm gonna go ahead and use that and I'm just gonna barely touch shh, diamond I'm just gonna barely use it to go ahead and darken it up and with this I'm gonna go ahead and use the blending a brush from Sephora which just looks like this it's another fluffy brush but I really like it a lot and it seems to blend in a lot more flawlessly, 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 flawless <laughs> um, than the other MAC blending brush that I have. Now, I really want this to be a really sparkly look, and then we can go back in and deepen it up. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more milk on it and blend the milk. Just put a little bit on just to kind of give myself a nice clean slate again. So just using a... AOA brush. I'm just going to go ahead and put the glue down. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off using this one right here, which is the Jupiter Sand. So I'm going to go ahead and use just my fluffy brush I got from Target. I'm just going to go ahead and do it on the corner of my eye. Oh my, yes. Woo! Look at that! You guys see that shine right there? Yes! Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press it. Now, as you can tell, it's not neat. It's not crisp and clear. But I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and what, 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 what? I'm gonna go ahead and deepen everything up and just build up on it. And at the end, we're gonna go ahead and blend everything together. And we're going to add, and Mars on Fire is gonna be right beside Jupiter on Sand. So it's right. Or, sorry, Jupiter Sand. It's kind of looking a little bit like the Too Faced one. The Mars on Fire, but we're going to go ahead and just build that up as well. I guess I'm not a professional makeup artist. By all means, I'm not. So <laughs> if I'm doing something incorrect or you guys know a different trick or tray to add glitter glue, sorry, to add glitter, um, please leave it down in the comments below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Woo, hunty, yes. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Wait, what, what? Okay, that's enough. And then I'm going to go ahead and add, yep, Meteor Crush is going to go in next, which is just this one right here. And that is going to go right beside Mars on Fire. Oh, this one's beautiful, you guys. This is actually my favorite one, I think, one I've used. I've only used three of them, you guys. And this one's sick. Oh my gosh, I want to just take everything off and just use that. That's stunning. And grab that cranberry color that I showed you guys right here. And I just want to kind of... I'm using the same brush I used with the sparkles, but I just want to use that and maybe use it with a little bit of the darker brown and the purple. I'm just gonna tap it here because I don't want a whole lot of product on it, but I just wanna go ahead and give it a little bit more structure so it's not so brown. I wanted to go back to that cranberry red color that we were going for in the beginning with, and I'm just gonna go back to the corner and just kind of blend it in there as well. 
just so it has a little bit more of a oomph. Just gonna fix up the rest of the eyes and I'll be right back. All right guys, so the look, the eye look there is cleaned up and ready to go. I put my lashes on, did my, my wing liner, which is mm, whatever, it's okay. And uh, yeah, I just fixed it up a little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my face and my lips and we should be done. All right, so this is gonna be a whole Fenty thing. I'm gonna just use well, all the Fenty Beauty products that I I love keeping my makeup packaging. I don't know why, but I do. So I am in this, if you haven't seen my Fenty Beauty review, there's a thousand out there, but if you wanna check mine out, I'll leave the link down below. I am in, I'm a 380 in the foundation. I'm gonna use the brush, I already used it from before, as you can see, woohoo. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do my foundation. Now I already cleaned up a lot of the glitter from that was Fallout. My review for, like, my, my initial thoughts for the eyeshadow palette. Oh my guys, I can't talk and do this at the same time. I was using Shea Butter as moisturizer and I was about to go into it with some foundation and that would have been a hot, hot mess. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Trio. Um, I actually think I got the wrong one. I got the one that's in Caramel, Truffle, and Rum. And to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like too dark on me. It feels like, like dirt. <laughs> Two things. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty. I'm also going to use the NYX Sculpting um, Face Duel. I'm actually just going to use this part, which is the highlight part. Okay, this area right here, not well, you guys, I get really, really, really freaking dry. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit up on here. And now again, I have really small features, so I'm not gonna like go nutso when it comes up to. All right, so the blush, we don't actually have a blush in the Fenty Beauty line at all yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my e.l.f. blush, which is like a pack of four, blah, four blushes that I like to use. And me personally, I just like to just dab at it. And I'm just gonna dab. I'm just gonna go ahead and like kind of play around all four colors and then go with that. I'm gonna actually use the, more of the peachy one and the what I call the Barbie pink one just because the, the glitters are so intense right now. I don't want to like, you know, you know, I don't want to use too much pink and look like a clown. So it's gonna give me a little more of a rosier look and a little more of a natural look. Now for highlighting which is my favorite thing to do I'm gonna go in with the kilowatt now I'm gonna use I don't know if I should use two highlights or one we'll see how I feel after this so this is the one that's um hustle baby and mean honey so we're gonna go ahead and use this one here I'm going to use my finger and I'm gonna go in with hustle baby I'm just gonna highlight my nose. I am, I'm gonna bring out trophy wipe with this too. Cause you can go re I'm not all over. I think I'm gonna buy another trophy wipe cause I don't ever wanna run out. Every time man, every flipping time. And I'm not gonna be like gentle with it. I'm just gonna go right on in. We just and we're gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Gloss and Oh, I should have lined my lips. Okay, we'll do that after. All right, you guys, I can't find a lip liner, but that's fine. We're gonna go ahead. And... All right, guys, so this is my end of the look review for it. I hope you like this look. It, I think it looks stunning, personally. I hope the camera can really show you the justice of what this makeup looks like right now. But anyways, this is all Fenty product beauty, aside from like a few odd things. Um, I tried to really incorporate the, the um, Galaxy eyeshadow palette. When I get my hands on lipsticks, I will show you those ones as well. Um, but yeah, until then, peace.